What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to do a little review on something I picked up off Amazon. It's actually these Milwaukee battery holders. Um, I've seen these things on the internet a few times and I've always thought to myself, well, that's kind of stupid, you know, I don't really need a holder to hold my battery. Um, obviously if I, if I was maybe a plumber or carpenter or something like that where I had them in my van or my truck or something, you know, having a mount system where I can mount all my batteries where they're not rolling around in the back. I can see having it like that. Um, I'm not in that industry. I'm, you know, I'm in the earthworks industry, so dirt, uh, dirt moving and excavation work, stuff like that. So I really don't need that. I just keep one or two batteries in my truck for the leaf blower or trimmer or something like that. So it's not a big deal for me. But here in my shop, where I'm, where I do a lot of wrenching on stuff, you know, fixing the equipment, whatnot, I got a bunch of Milwaukee tools. I'm a huge Milwaukee tool fan. Um, I'm not sponsored by them by any means. It'd be cool if I was, but I'm not. So. Before you start thinking, you know, that's, that's the reason I'm talking about them. I'm not. I just, I think that, you know, 10 years ago, they, I think they kind of struggled as a company. And from what I understand, gathered research-wise, it sounds like they reinvested everything in their their uh, battery-powered tools. And I tell you what, I used to be a hardcore DeWalt guy until the company I was working for went to Milwaukee. And they, hands down, they've got the market. They have something for everything, whether it's a grease gun, impact gun, Sawzall, I mean... They've got something for everything. So, regardless of Milwaukee, you know, that's not what this, this video is about. But um, I have so many Milwaukee tools and batteries now that I've accumulated. Because usually, I used to just buy bare tools. But Milwaukee does a good job of, like, advertising specials here and there where you get a battery. You know, you might get one battery with the tool. So, every time I buy a tool, I get one battery out of it. So, you know, I've, I've accumulated, I think I counted, I got like 12 batteries right now. Um, everything from different sizes from, I've got, the largest one I've got is an 8.0, which runs my like weed eater and my, my leaf blower. And then, uh, you know, this is, this isn't a 5.0, but about 5.0 size all the way down to the 2.0. Um, I think this is the smallest one I have, minus the, the M12s. Um, this is the M18, this is all M18 I'm talking about here though. So this mount I got off Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description below. I don't have any affiliation with it at all. Um, I haven't even installed it yet. It's still in the bag here. I just ripped it open and got one out to show you. So I'm just going to do a little product review on it. Um, I read some reviews on it. Guys, they're 50-50. Some guys like them, some don't. Some guys were saying they were cheap. Um, it looks... I mean, I'm pushing on that pretty hard, and it's not really flexing too bad. Um, it shows you where to put the screws. It does come with three screws. Um, it's pretty tough plastic. I don't know what this part is for. Like these little grips on here to squeeze, I guess to hold it. So I guess to get it off, to, I guess. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't. I don't know what that's for. I don't know if it's like a belt loop mount. Maybe you can put your put it on your belt and you can, you know, have an extra battery like a magazine, like a gun. Um, if that's what that's for, that's a great idea. Well, maybe I just came up with it. I don't know. I didn't read into it that much. Um, but they look like they're going to work just fine. So what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to mount all my batteries somewhere in here. I want to have them all like this, all the way down. Because I usually stack them up here, and what I find happening is <laughs> stack them up there is I usually knock them off. Well, these things are pretty tough. Walking makes pretty tough battery. But I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to drop them before I break it. So I bought these. They were 15 bucks, 16 bucks, with one day shipping off Amazon. Um, hard to beat, honestly. So I went ahead and ordered them. They were here today. I ordered them yesterday. They're here today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a piece of wood, get them all spaced out on it, drill, tap them on there, and then I'm going to actually bolt the piece of wood to the cabinet there. Um, that way it's just quick access for me to grab my batteries. You know, I, the ones that are on the charger obviously need charge, and the ones that are on there are ready to go. Um, also, another reason I find is, like I said, I have like 12 batteries. I often find times where I come down here and I can't find any of them so maybe having me a spot organized spot where I uh where I have them I'll be able to visually see like hey I'm missing two batteries so anyways uh let's get started I'm gonna drill these things on to a piece of wood get them mounted up and I'll give you uh at the end of the video I'll give you a 100% review on what I think of these guys and if I think they're a good idea if I think you should get them um so maybe I'm also going to post this video in the comments in the review section of this product so if anybody wants to see the video and see my take um I use these things pretty much every day, so I'll let you know. You know, I'll give you an update later on if I think they're worth buying or not. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So I just had this piece of scrap wood laying around. It's actually not wood. It's actually like that composite decking stuff. Um, 
like I said, it's just scrap stuff. So we'll go ahead and use that because it's nice and thin. Thinner than two by four. Um, there's a kit I got for 16 bucks come with eight battery holders. So we're gonna get these all opened up. Get them opened up and then we are gonna figure out where we wanna mount them. And this stuff is actually a perfect width because it's the same width as like a big 8.0 battery. Um, I can't go side to side with them because they do have to face out a little bit because of the width of the battery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my biggest batteries I have. I'll mount it like that. It's actually not an 8.0. Another 8.0. And we'll space them out just about, just in case 12. They end up with a 12. Okay, so we're gonna mount them just like that. I'm actually gonna bring them towards the front to where the button is accessible. So it sticks out a little bit. So if we line those up, not worried about cosmetics on this stuff, so we're just gonna trace it where I want it. Just keep hip hopping around. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven, eight, two more. Okay. Then we're going to take this, place it there. screws that come with look like they're just some kind of drywall screw. Yep. Got my Milwaukee impact. Let's see if we have to pre-drill. Nope. So I was curious if you had to pre-drill this plastic first. And I just tightened the heck out of that and it didn't split so that was another thing I was wondering. Make sure they bottom out though because I think the battery's got to clear it. Okay. Here's the fits. Yeah. Does it come on? Oh yeah. All right. So we're going to do that seven more times and then we'll mount it up. bolt it in a couple spots on that cabinet back there and uh, send it. Alright, so this is the area I was talking about mounting it. These are nice heavy duty cabinets and they are full of stuff. So, I'm going to mount it something like that. That will give me access to all my batteries. Um, shouldn't be in the way of anything. So I can still get back here and get stuff. I got a pillar right here for the shed so this is kind of unused space anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead and figure out where we want our holes. Probably drill through this thing first. I'm just gonna use these two bolts. Go through that.
countersink the bolt. The head of the bolt won't countersink a little bit. Like that. Just like the head of the bolt goes in there. And I'm probably going to take a punch once I get the holes figured out in there and drive it in there so that it doesn't spin. So when I tighten it down, because these bolts are just a tad short. So instead of going and getting stuff and using what I got in the shop, which is just sheet metal, so it's not very thick. But. Dewalt came out with this first, that's why I have one of these. I know I've been bragging about Milwaukee, but Dewalt came out with it first, sorry guys. And then this is actually Makia. I use the heck out of it, so I'm gonna use it to drill. Drill that. If you don't have one of those, even if you don't do carpentry work or anything like that, just to have it around the house, I use the heck out of it. Milwaukee actually makes a right angle tool though too. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth, so they don't stick out, mess with the battery height at all. See? So, there's that, last step, mount it up. sponsored huh I'm just giving them a free shout out at this point Get all my big batteries first in there. 5.0s. Last big one. Look, as long as the cabinet stays there, I need about three more, it looks like. So I got plenty of that stuff. I just gotta order more of them. So I think you can order them individually, but. That's it, doesn't hang out too much. It's all organized, you know where everything is. Got all the Milwaukee guns up there and stuff, so. Um, I mean, that's pretty. I like it. I like it a lot, it's smooth. Like I said, if I got one messing, I gotta go. Once I get enough to match the amount of batteries I have, then I'll be able to know, you know, if I got one messing. It's gonna work out pretty good. Um, really easy. I can 
You know, I can see the battery levels real, real easy on it. So, you know, it wiggles a little bit. I mean, uh, one more bolt in there. It is on a sheet metal cabinet, so, but pretty happy with it. All right, there you have it, guys. So that's a quick uh, little thing I whipped up, put these uh, these mounts I got off Amazon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and review it. I'd say out of, you know, out of 10, or uh, let's go five. Amazon does five, five star. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a five, straight up five. There's nothing about them that I didn't like, honestly. I mean, I know I just got them, um, but I mean, they come off nice. They go on nice. They're tight. Um, like I said, it looks like it has a belt loop option on it. It's got the screw option on it. It looks like you could glue them on if you wanted. You could go back to back with them. You could do all kinds of stuff with them. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a flat out five. The shipping was good by Amazon, um, and the seller. Um, they're good quality. They're red. They even match the color. I mean, come on, that's bonus points there. So nothing, nothing bad to say about them. Um, I highly recommend them. Um, as far as the reviews, guys giving them two stars, three stars, whatever. I don't know why you did that. If you don't like them, if you're the competition, whatever. Um, I like them. So, until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you later.